This video is on the approximate binomial distribution. For this video, we use the Stanford Binet 1916 distribution of IQ of 905 unselected children 5 through 14 years of age. To draw our histogram, we use the Stat1 bar app. To draw our curve, we use the function app. D1 and D2 have the original data, with D1 being the IQ and D2 being the percentage. To figure out the frequency, we take D2 divided by 100 times 905 and round it. We get an approximate frequency. We convert the percentages to a decimal that we will use with our histogram. We sum this up and we see this approximately 1. Let's look at how the histogram is created. Press the app key. Make sure stat1 bar is selected. Press start. We have our D1, our original percentages, our approximate frequency, and our decimal equivalents of our percentages. We go to the SYMB key. Make sure we have D1 and D4 selected. Shift plot to set up what our scale is going to be. So we want a width of 10. We want to go from 50 to 150. We go from 55 to 155. For our Y range, we go from negative 0.1 to 0 0.5. Our X tick is 10 and our Y tick is 0.1. We hit the plot key and we see that we have our answer that's shown over here. To get our tick mark at the top, what we need to do is hit menu, go to, type 105, press enter, and now we have the tick mark at the top. If we press menu one more time, it will show us that this value is 0.339. To get our statistics, we press the Noom key, press the Stat button, and scroll. We have an average of 100.61 and a standard deviation of 13.39. Press OK. We will now use our mean and standard deviation that we got from our histogram. Let's go to the app key, press the function app. We put into F1 the built-in function normal density with a mean of 101, so we rounded it, and a standard deviation of 13. The 13 is also rounded. Let's go to our page setup next. We take it from 55 to 155. Our Y range goes from negative 0.01 to 0.04. Our X tick mark is 10 and our Y tick mark is 0.01. We want to make sure that we have labels checked. Hit our plot key. A mean of 101 and a standard deviation of 13 for our first question here how many children were within one standard deviation of the mean 101 take away 13 is 88 101 plus 13 is 114 that is what we want to graph with our normal curve press the menu key fcn soft key sign area go to 88, press enter or OK, press OK, change it to 2, go to, type 114, press enter or OK, and we see that we have this graph. Press OK one more time, and we get this percentage returned to the home screen. We use the normal density cumulative density function with 
101 for our mean, 13 for our standard deviation, going from 88 to 114 to come up with the same answer that we came up with our graph. Before moving on, let's take a look at where this function is at. Hit our toolbox key, make sure math is selected, probability, go to cumulative, and press normal. When we were graphing this function, we used the normal density function. Press our toolbox key, make sure math is selected, press probability, go to density, and press normal. We do the calculation of the answer in our CAS view. We could have just as well did it in our home view. So what we do is we take the 905 times the rounded 0.683 to get the answer to be 618 rounded. We decided to compare this with the histogram three center bars. So we took D3, four, D3, five, and D3, six, and add them together to get the number to be 698. So the numbers weren't too close to each other. Our last problem was how many children had IQs above 114? We're looking at the probability of X being greater than 114. This is equal to the probability of 1 minus the probability of less than 114. To do the normal cumulative density functions, we must do them in the home window. If we do them over here in the CAS window, we get an exact answer that is hard to read. So we'll move back over to the home window. We'll put in 1 minus the normal density, cumulative density function. The mean is 101. The standard deviation is 13. So the answer turns out to be 114. So we subtract this from 1 and we get the answer here. We go back over to our CAS window. We take this 905 times our answer rounded and get the answer to come up to be 144. We compare this to 97, 98, and 99, and that answer turns out to be 117. This ends our video on approximate binomial distribution.